uh, uh, philosophy. Because what it was was Alexander, which he was a he was a, a Greek and he was a so-called white man, they biblical nationality, an Edomite. Yeah. You had Aristotle, right? You had Aristotle teach Alexander what to do and to govern Alexander. So you always had our people around uh, uh, you know uh, on a heavy is? influence you on the on the masses of the people. You know what my name is? What's that? Alexander. <laughs> but see, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, but, but our people was always around. They would look at it and say, well, it, the Greeks, it was number white people, okay? But deep, deep in history, the real Greeks look like me and you, which the real Greeks are, are Hawaiian Samoans and the Tonganese because they were pushed out of that land uh, when Alexander and the uh, so-called Roman came in. They were pushed out of that land. So the real, the real Greeks are the Japhetic people. But I don't want to take it too fast, but read what you got. Tom, this is dogma in the etymology.com. Uh, etymology See, et etymology, the true meaning of the word. Okay, so we're going to the origin of it. Go ahead. God, 1600s in plural dog, dogmata from Greek dogma, psych psychological tenet from Greek dogma, genitive dogmatos, opinion, Opinion. opinion. See, that's what these people deal with in this world. They never come with facts. They always coming with, oh, this is what I believe and this is how it is. Their view. They never come with truth and facts. That's what these people, these, these uh, so-called Christians deal with and these people, other people that's walking around calling themselves not Christian. They deal with opinion. And then you can ask, well, what's the origin of that word? They don't even deal with that. You see, where did that word come from? They don't even deal with the origin of the word, the true meaning of the word. Okay, go ahead. Literally, that which one think is true. Which one think is true. So they've been told that the motherland is Africa, and they've been told that the uh, uh, that civilization started in Africa. But who opinion was that? So-called white man to the CCP. You see that? That's dogma, man. It's taught in the school, it's taught, it's taught everywhere, but they never tell you who you truly are according to the Bible. Because guess what? It's to deceive these people on this side so they won't know who they are. If you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going, you don't know what's going on. Okay? You're in a confused state. And the one that came up with that African American was Jesse Jackson in the 80s. Mm -hmm. You see that? See the confusion that our people are wrapped in? They don't know what's going on. And they think, and they think America is gonna continue forever. When you go into history, it's no empire that lasts forever. No what? What the Greeks at? What the Romans at? What the Persians at? What the Medes at? What the Babylonians at? Those were Ethiopians. What are they at? What are they ruling at? They ain't ruling no more. They failed. And the next rulers on this earth is gonna be the Negro Latino and <coughs> Native American. Right. Those are right. the next rulers that's coming. Not the not them goops over there, not the Chinese. They out of there. Uh -huh. Okay? When this when America falls, when the economic system go down and they and they declare war on Russia and they get in a full-fledged war, America gonna lose. All them countries that America sitting there saying that they got terrorists and all that, they gonna end up shooting missiles on America. That's what's gonna happen to America. That's the future of America. And the Heavenly Father is going to send his son back to deliver the elect out of these people, out of this condition. The one that's conscious and know the Heavenly Father and his son and know their nationality. He ain't dealing with no African American. African American is confused. He think the motherland is Africa. The Heavenly Father didn't say that. The Bible said it's Jerusalem. You see, you see how uh, separated our people are from the Heavenly Father and his son? But... It's all because of that dogma and that circular reason, people's opinion. And where did them opinions come from? The so-called white man to deceive these people. Come. See what you got? Go ahead. And add to what the brother's saying also, he just explains how the scriptures explain where it has to be a seed, right? So if you're African American, that means you're saying that you came from, your father was Af Afros, the Leo Sifters <laughs> Africanus. Right. Or Marigo Vespucci, that's what Marigo was named after. So your line would have to go back to one of two white men. Two white, you know, generals. Yep. Ours don't. So how, how are we African Americans? That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's that 
That's that dog. You see what you got? But you gotta run, brother. Uh, just man, a- let me read one word. Cause, Cause he explained how they, they just, for the destroyers, right? This is Psalm 83 and two. It says, for lo, thine enemy make a tumult and they that hate thee have lift up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Which are the Israelites. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why these people don't know who they are, according to the Bible. Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans don't know uh, who they are, according to the Bible. They think they Latinos, they think they Mexican, they think they Puerto Rican. So-called black man tell you he's black. That's not a nationality. He'll give you his birthday sometime, or he'll give you a, a, a African American. Okay? Uh, the, the Haitians will give you Haiti. Okay? The more, Jamaican. More. Or they'll give you more. more. The word That's more. What I'm trying to think about earlier. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the word more. Yeah, or they'll give you that. that. In any language, they got a book called The Golden Age of the Moors. Right? And in that book, it tells you in any language that you look in, the word more means black. Okay? We're not black. You don't match your uh, your jacket. we different shades of brown. Okay? But when you look up the word black, it's so negative, and they try to place that on us as a people. A lot of people don't know no better. They don't know. But the Moors, the Moors are Israelite. They just took, you had some of them take on uh, Islam and they were forced on them, and then you still had some that believed in the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, it was a split. But they were all known, according to the Bible, as Israelites. they the ones that colonized Spain. Okay? And went all up into Europe. Okay? And, and, and made Europe great for the white man because it was a point in time where we had the white man in slavery. Okay? And, and, and when we fell, in uh, 1453, there was a major stronghold when we was in Turkey and in uh, Greece. And uh, when we fell in them strongholds, that's when the so-called white man started coming back into power. That's mainly when he when he started coming back into power. But it's, it started earlier, but that main stronghold, when that uh, bu- bubonic plague uh, hit, uh, uh, Europe, it wiped out a lot of a lot of so-called black people. and them and them so-called white people. They a lot of them was in the Caucasus Mountains. That's why they call them Caucasian, meaning cave dwellers. Okay, and the man and the, and the so-called white man by the name of Johann and Blumenbach put that term on them. Okay, because he looked at looked at the people on the earth and was trying to basically. Uh, create so-called white supremacy, but we know it as Edomite supremacy, okay? And that's the that's why he was calling them Caucasian, because he thought they came out the mountain. That's where they originated from, but they didn't. Go ahead. Verse 4, they said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why people don't remember who they are. That's why people don't know that the motherland is... Uh, is, uh, it's true because they came with that dog, and then you had uh, the conditions of slavery because we couldn't read, read or write, so it was a block of out. Three hundred plus years. Right. So you was to lose that history. Right. You so see, we lost our stronghold in fourteen fifty three. Started in fifteen ninety two. Well, where it well, well, really started? Where well, really started in uh, during the time of uh, Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus. That's 14, 1492. Yeah, 1492. So 1453 is when we lost the stronghold, and 1492 is when it started. When it started, because the, the one, the first ones that came, that were going into slavery, is these people over here, the natives. Right. The natives because what he was natives. doing, what he was right. doing was coming over here and uh, taking the natural resources. And then he, he was, was shipping for, some of them back over there. Claiming he was looking for trade routes in Asia, but why would you even come this way if you're going to Asia? Nah. But the thing about it is, he knew, he knew, he knew he about, he knew where he was going. Right. See, that's the other lie, that's another lie that uh, 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 we were taught. Right. He knew where he was going. He was reading the Bible. The Bible tells you that the Ten Tribe came on this side. So he knew that, okay? And then when, uh, uh, in, uh, what is it, 15, I think it's uh, 15, uh, 17, I think that's where it was when the first slave, the so-called Negro slave, came out of Spain. They ain't even come out of Africa first. 
they came out of Spain. That was the first. That was the first time the Negroes came over here. Uh, they were shipped from Spain and brought over here. And then the bulk of them came in 1620. They were pulling them. They were pulling them from Europe. They were pulling them from Africa, and they were pulling them from the southern parts of. Uh, uh, so, I mean, they were pulling them from the uh, Spain, Wales, right? Wales, the slave trade then in Spain in 1970. See, right. so they were pulling them. They were pulling them from uh, Europe. They were pulling them from Spain. They were pulling them from uh, Northwest Africa. They were pulling them from uh, uh, the south part of uh, the southwest part of uh, Africa, down in the Congo, uh, down in the... Uh, yeah, the Eastern Tip, where they were yeah, barbaric. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they were from the over there, too. Lord, and, yeah. they was, and they were shipping them in uh, Zanzibar, them Arab. But they were pulling them all from that area, okay? But that's history that been hid from them. Right. And if you go over there, if you go over there to Africa today, them, them monuments and what went on is still up. They, it's still up over there. And they and they got a, and they got video showing that when uh, uh, when uh, when we went into slavery, that it was it was a, a point of no return. And they was telling them, look, they were telling some of them, look, you're gonna have a better life if you go over it. And they never went back. But the thing about it is, before before we was in Africa, we went to uh, uh, we was in Jerusalem because we ran up out of there in 70 A.D. And we was in we was in Africa for at least about a thousand years, but we went but we uh but we went into slavery. So the original land, the original land for these people, Negro Latinos and Native Americans, is Jerusalem. Because we ran out of there in 70 AD, running from the Roman persecution. So you see that ball of history that they hide from us because they don't want us to know because we're a threat when we find out who they are. <laughs> Done. He said, I'm gonna read the scripture. Aye, aye. I got Done. Aye, salute, bro. Salute. I'm gonna read one more to edify what he just said. This is uh St. Matthews 24 and 15. And it says, When ye therefore shall see the des the abomination of the desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. That's talking about Daniel's ninth chapter, right? It's talking about Daniel's ninth chapter, and I want to say it's around the last, somewhere around the last verse. But what, what the Lord was saying was, uh, these Romans, so-called white man, which their biblical nationality, the Edomite, finna come in and they finna lay Jerusalem flat. Okay, go ahead. It says, then let them which, which be in Judea flee into the mountains. In the Atlas Mountains. So you had a lot of our people flee into the Atlas Mountains. Over there in Africa. Okay, go ahead. It and, says, then, and then on top of that, the reason why they were fleeing, another reason why they were fleeing, because you already had our people, some of our people, down up in northern parts of Africa. It's like when, when trouble trouble happened in one state, what Jake do? He go to his family members in another state. Okay? So you already had you already had Israelites down in northern parts of Africa. Okay? But the bulk of them came then in God. 70 AD. It says, let him which, which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Because what it is, is uh, Israel used to go on top of the house and send up prayers. You know, they used to do a lot of praying and, and go on top of the house. But the Lord was like, look, don't even go up there. Just, just you know what I'm saying, get out. Because they finna come. Okay, go ahead. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Mm -hmm. And woe unto them that are with child. Woe unto them that are with child. Because if you got infants and they coming in, they gonna be put to death. Because the Romans didn't spread nothing. Same way when we was in slavery. They ain't spread the kids. They ain't spread the baby. They used our kids as alligator baby. They ain't care. So-called white man didn't care. He ain't show no love. Go ahead. And to them which give suck in those days. Mm -hmm. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, mm -hmm. neither on the Sabbath day. Reason why I'm saying that because during the winter it's a hard time to survive when you're in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Hard winter is hard. It's hard for for people to survive in the winter time when you just shoved in the winter. And then the Sabbath is a day of rest. Okay, go ahead. Con, it says, for then shall be a great tribulation, mm -hmm. such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. All right, now, read back up again. It says, oh, go uh, to Luke, go to Luke and hit that point. Go to uh, Luke, drop that and go to Luke. Luke 21. Con. Con. Luke 21. <laughs> 21 and 20. 
Luke 21 and 20 says this, and we, and when ye shall see Jerusalem,